Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another example video here on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. What we're gonna do today is just uh, talk about one thing that some people have been talking about in the comment section from the last video, and that is the member initialization list. And uh, to be honest, I'd kind of forgotten about it because it's a long time since I used that. Now it's really important to know about, so I thank those people for bringing it up. And uh, I actually used pointers in the last video and, and dynamic memory allocation instead of using this, which you could do because actually it's stupid to use pointers when it comes to wheels since your car always has wheels, right? Um, but still, you got to work with some more dynamic allocation and they use the destructor right there. So in a way it's good because we are learning here, but uh, yeah, to do it correctly you could do it like this. If you have a class wheel like this, you have your private section and your pub Lick section, just like that, and just copy this. And what we had last time was uh, truck. And I'm not going to do the inventory thing because, uh, yeah, this is just to show the how the initialization list works. So what we have is a, we have a size of the wheel, okay, and we're going to have a wheel uh, int size 20, okay, just like that, and that actually our constructor right there just like that now what you can do instead of doing this size equals size you can use the member initialization list up here and what happens here is that and this is important when it comes to inheritance later you're going to be calling the constructors for your base classes like this um, but anyway what you do is you say size you can't use this up here sadly but it knows it recognizes which one is what so wheel size and this is that size so uh, there you go that's it that's all you have to do um, now perfect this will become 20 alright let me just think here now uh, what we had was we had four wheels and wheel LF let's just make the four why not LF RF uh, RL wait left R there we go and then run, run just like that now what we can do when we create our truck uh, constructor here is that we use the same technique now what I did was I had these as pointers and then I said wheel LF equals new right just to uh, just to make sure I don't call the constructor two times and I don't make any copies like if I did like this and I said wheel LF equals wheel uh, 26 like this right this copies this creates an unnecessary object which is then copied into this already created object what the pointer would have done what the pointer does in this case is that it just creates a new one and then puts it into wheel LF and it points to it now this is also unnecessary because then you have to go in and create a destructor and define it just like the uh, person a nice person in the comment section said you don't actually have to define this in that case I still define my constructors always so you have it there if you need it um, but uh, what this does is then you have to delete wheel down here but screw that right we don't want to have to do that so what you can do is just init this is how you initiate your constants as well I think um, but anyhow we'll talk about that later so I'll say Wheel LF 26, um, wheel RF 26, we'll just say 26 on all of these, uh, just like that, 26, and then rear, like this, 26. Now, oh, you don't have to do the semicolon here either. So uh, there we go. Now, when we create our truck, we just want to see out, let's get a, let's do a getter in here. Actually, here I don't have to define the destructor. Who cares, right? You know you, you can choose either to do it or not. Get size const. Um, there we go. There we go. Constant reference. Bam. Turn this size. There we go. Um, not get size. Just like that. Um, whoops. Okay, so we can do this for every single one. Uh, 
but we don't have to, right? I mean, I can do it for RF as well, because all of these, if one is, then the rest are as well. So we'll just make these two, and then we'll make a truck truck down here. And in the constructor, we'll call the Cout thingy. So, yeah, 26, 26. So in this way, you can initialize your variables to specific values uh, in here, even if they're um, in the stack like this, not in the heap. So even if they're not dynamic, they're static, they're like this. And uh, yeah, that is great. I, I'm really happy someone told me because I had honestly kind of forgotten about that, which is dumb because it's a really important thing to know. But that's how it is with programming. Sometimes you forget things, and and uh, you gotta you gotta go check the references and stuff. Uh, yeah. So, but yeah, thank you for watching and the support. Take care. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.